So I was just going on this, this walk with my kids and um, we went to Five Below. Kids wanted to go to Five Below. I hate Five Below because the shit's so cheap and it always breaks. Nothing, nothing ever works for more than a day. But they wanted to go to Five Below. They had some money and they wanted to spend that money. So I was like, all right, cool. So we're walking and um, we've got this guy in our, our subdivision that he owns a, like an ice cream truck, a little ice cream truck that he drives around and um, drives around in subs and sells ice cream. Cool. Love that you have a hustle. Awesome. Perfect. Um, but he's actually a little bit different. Not, not my favorite person for my kids to be around. My, my wife definitely doesn't like the kids be around him, but it, it's whatever. He hasn't done anything to him. So we're walking and, and Trey, my son, my seven-year-old is, is right next to me. And he's like, daddy, what is that? I was like, oh, that's, it's an ice cream truck. He's like, oh, like, I thought that was like a, like a kid, a kid catcher. I was like, a, a kid catcher? What, what do you mean a kid catcher? What's a, what's a kid catcher? And he went through this whole series of stories on what a kid catcher is. He was like, oh, they, um, they say, hey, hey, I've got ice cream for you. They open up their back door, tell them to go to the front to get the ice cream, then shut the door and then leave and they take them somewhere and then kill them. I was like, what? <laughs> what, what do you mean? Where did you see this? Kids on YouTube all the time. And I actually, I hate it, but there are times where like, I make this excuse that I need to get my own shit done so you can go ahead and go on your electronics and you can go on YouTube and pretty much do whatever you want. And I'm just thinking like, man, this is my, my seven-year-old son. Why does my seven-year-old son know the scenario of kidnapping and vans, white vans being the actual scenario. Just come to think of it, it's, it might be a good thing because it might create a little bit of awareness on what could potentially happen. But the fact that this is so free and so open and so clear that my seven-year-old can see it on, on YouTube, like this is an issue. And this is a, a parenting issue on my behalf because it's showing you what my kid is exposed to. It's showing me what my kid is exposed to. And I've, I've continually said that I hate social media for the kids, but we let them go on stuff, YouTube and whatnot, and be on their iPads. But this, this opened my eyes. This was um, honestly, really kind of disturbing for him to know this whole scenario as a seven-year-old of what it looks like to be kidnapped um at seven i was just thinking about playing with my toys and thinking about riding my four-wheeler and my dirt bike and stuff like that i wasn't thinking about getting kidnapped and the whole scenario of what that looks like and not only getting kidnapped but getting killed um yeah, it's a different world, but parents, like, this is something that we have to take a little deeper dive into, a little, little deeper look into on what we're actually allowing our kids to get exposed to. Because there's a lot of crazy shit going on in this world right now. There's a lot of divide. There's a lot of separation that we didn't have growing up. Some of the stuff is, it's, it's cool. It's whatever. But a lot of what we're seeing in this world today, it's just not, it's not real life. This seems fake. It, it's crazy. It's wild. So please, check on your kids. Be more aware of what they're doing and what they're on. Because there's so much more chance for them to get exposed to some of this crazy shit that they might see something that you just don't want them to see and they don't need to see, they don't need to hear about, but they do.
Just be careful. Check in on them. See what they're doing. Be active in their lives.